Hi there, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms and I just wanted to run outside today on a cold day and see what the temperature is like uh, in different places. So we've got a Ryobi temperature gun. <clears throat> I think is pretty accurate. The uh, thermometer in the house said it was uh, 19 degrees when I left. And I believe that means 19 degrees out here too. So it's gonna be somewhat similar on to what the uh, temperature thing is reading. This is a little uh, greenhouse thing we built. The end that we're standing in is a hardening off area, so it gets most of the temperature and wind and stuff as the regular world with a little bit of shelter. And in here is the greenhouse area where it's all closed. So, uh, I'm trying to think what we want to shine on here. Let's take a 49 degrees. So 30 degrees better than that says 63. 24. It's interesting, the pots are still cold. This one says 77. I don't, yeah, you can see that. That's interesting. No, I'm not sure what to believe or where I should be checking my temperatures at. Oh, that's a 70. I guess the sun's shining on that though, 75. So, a little greenhouse. It actually feels nice in here. I'll give you that. Let's try to take the temperature on the shaded side of this. 52. 55 but it is uh pretty nice in here so i just wanted to so this is what we're out doing today i just wanted to check some spots like this uh see what uh the temperatures are doing these plants are blueberry bushes that are in pots and we want to grow them up just a little more before we plant them i'm thinking we're going to plant them in the spring no matter what but uh that's what these are and then we'll be growing uh, flowers and tomatoes and cucumbers and all kinds of stuff in here uh, uh, you know first thing in the spring like probably March so but anyways just kind of curious like I say that uh, little temperature gizmo here says 77 in here and on the 79 on the sunny side of the 2x4. Let's try it on the back side. That says 64. So, uh, there you go. That's the uh, greenhouse effect. Let's go check a uh, couple of the places I want to check. Uh, I'll show you those in a second. This little shed building thing here is our brooder house. And uh, normally in the spring we get baby chicks and bring them in here. This time of year, my uh, son has his pet chickens in here. Hi, girls. Oops. That rooster you were hearing is this big guy. He's huge. He's even huge for a chicken. And then they got these little guys. These are silky chicks. These are his pets. So, we've got a couple things going here. I want to... Uh, just do some temperature checks in here. So in here, we're don't, we don't have any heat other than we're running that red lamp. So let's just measure the wall over here. 24. Uh, 27 at the ceiling. So, uh, 
Looks like the water's not frozen, which is good. It's very cold. It's getting a little skin of ice on it. 22 degrees, it says. The hot lamp's 245. That's fun. So, uh, that's what we're measuring in here. Just want to uh, see what's going on in here. We, we have the heat lamp ideally so that uh, kind of will keep the whole house here warmer than uh, just, just let it freeze, but we're not really trying to heat the chicken house either, so maybe it'll keep the water from freezing. So, there we have that. Well, you should crow for us more, bud. Anyways, there's that. This is our brooder house with our pet chickens. That's the rooster version of the silkies, and then the three other littler ones are hens. That's our mystery chick. If you look back into some videos from last summer, we got that mystery chick, and I still don't know what his exact breed is, but he's definitely a rooster all boy right there. Yeah, you all tough one. Huh? He crows and crows and crows. He's protecting these, these little guys. I don't even know if he knows he's different. But anyways, okay, enough in here. I, I threw him some uh, green peas. We got a veggie tray over uh, New Year's, and we... Liked everything else, but the peas were a little tough, so we had to give them the chickens. We'll get the rest of the hens. These guys can eat these ones. Looks like he was about to try it there. All right, here we go. Next one we're going to check is the uh, it's a building. We call it the She Shed because we kind of built it for my wife and her projects. And then we kind of changed the direction a little bit on some of the things she was going to do. So we had this thing built, three, three sided running shed. And then uh, when we went to get pigs, I thought, well, that'd be perfect for the pigs. So we put the pigs in there. You see that in some of the other videos. And then when winter time's coming, I thought, well, let's greenhouse the front side of this thing and see if that with the southern exposure sun would create the, uh, you know, much warmer climate for them hens in the winter. So let's get in there. Latch, latch. I'll probably cut some of that out. Hey girls. Look what I've got for you. Got some green peas here. Open. All right, who's ready for a treat? Oh, look at those. So it looks like the hens go up on the shelf up there and wander around. Looks like they poop it up over here a lot. Bummer. We'll, we'll scrape it off and get it out of here. Put my container up there while we're waiting. Okay. I'm glad I put a plywood over this uh, top of this pig feeder so that we can scrape that off and not poop that off. The girls seem to be uh, all about getting things pooped up, huh? And our uh, electric water seems to be doing pretty good. Doesn't look frozen yet. Let's check the temperature in some shaded spots here. 33. 29. So we've got at least, I'd say, 10 degrees better in here. That's in the shade. Here, just down here. 
41 on the side of the pen, pen gear box there. As you can tell, you know, whatever we got going here, we get snow on the shelf. I guess I didn't know that. I'm not sure which angle that was coming in from. It must come up the sheets of tin or something and in. Okay. Well, there's that. Didn't know. Let's try down here in the sunny spot. 47. So, I think it helps. They're definitely out of the wind, which is nice. And they probably got 10 or 20 degrees better than if they were outside. How's the green peas? Do you girls like those? See if there's any eggs. We're not here to get the eggs, but it's just always fun to see. Here's how the hen gear nesting box works. You lift that up, roll this over. You got a couple eggs there. There's one. There's another one down there. They've already been gathered for today, so some late layers here, I guess. All right, so I don't know. What else we got here? Out of the food container, 34. Sunny side of the food container, 47. All right, so that's uh, that's the hen house. Uh, I think we're a win on our little experiment here. So we will uh, probably do this in the future. Let's go look at the actual uh, hoop house, see how that's doing. All right. Well, we got buddy tracks and plenty of snow on the way over to see this thing. We're going to get the skin on this in the spring. And then, uh, be working some of the uh, flowers, cut flowers that uh, she's going to raise in there. Looks like we're gonna be learning something. One thing is, is our rope did not hold here and I didn't know that until right now. That rope came off or it broke or whatever. It's not holding that side in anymore. I wonder how this one's doing. We've had some fierce winds though. This one's still all right. So there's something to fix at our earliest convenience. I don't think it's gonna happen until sometime when it's much warmer out. I don't know how we could deal with that right now even at all. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it's nice in here. Oops, I spilled my thing there. Uh, the cardboard box is 50. Table's 49. Our side curtain is hanging way open here, so a lot of opportunity for heat to get out of here. And then, I'm not sure what happened here, but something was rubbing and wrecking that, which we are learning. So there's, there's that. Dirt, 66, and uh, I don't think this thing's lying to us. It feels every bit of pretty nice in here, really. Looks like you got a little snow down there. It must be able to blow under, I guess. There's a screwdriver. It is really nice in here. Sixty one degrees down there. But yeah, um, I, was, I was trying to mention it earlier. We had some really tough winds, like some 60, 70 mile an hour winds. So I'm just happy anything's still left here. 
This is really nice in here. I don't know why we got a nice roll of Gorilla Tape still out here. Guess we didn't do a good job of picking up our stuff. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but... Well, there we have it. So far, so good. Uh, I don't even know what to think about this whole thing in the winter and high winds, but we definitely need to get that side curtain fixed before we get too much of the spring high winds. But it is super nice in here. So, it gives us some hope when it's, uh, spring, you know, March, the temperatures in here are going to be growable when it wouldn't be outside. So that's what the whole point is, I guess. So, Well, that's our little experiment with trying to figure out what the temperature of everything in the world is, is going to look like. Pretty amazed at what the uh, little plastic covering does here on this all the different old buildings we did and stuff so just wanted to walk around see what it was all about and i thought i'd share it with you thanks for watching see you on the next video